now let us look at seven ideas for the new generation it's not that everything is hunky dory about uh, the newer generation we all are human beings so there cannot be a perfect generation there are always pluses and minuses for the old as well as for the new isn't it i'm sure you'll be on the same page with me as far as this is concerned so let us look at what are the seven ideas i have for the newer generation so that they can make their life little simpler being overly certain about or confident inability to give and take criticism communicate with impact listen more it's okay to make mistakes the myth of multitasking be patient and not being able to disconnect from the virtual world let's go deeper into each one of them now what do i mean by being overly certain or confident the new generation have to understand the thin line between confidence and overconfidence there are places i have seen that they are so super confident that that confidence can go into overconfidence and being overconfident does not really help you in life i am sure you guys have understood the difference but the line is very thin you need to uh, you know take the support of the newer generation and to see that you are not over confident be confident there is no question that's a great quality of the new new generation be super confident but not over confident so this is one tool which i have used because if you really look at the generation gap uh, the generation gap is there between all the generations so it's not only just about the new generation and the the old generation so here i am asking you to work smart when i say be a smart worker means what remember guys that your boss is your boss because of his experience now you don't obviously do don't have you are newer in the job you don't have the, the the experience that either the boomers or the gen xers have but what does that mean i am asking you to work smart go and communicate with your bosses in such a way that you gain their experience and you learn to use that experience in your workplace so that you can grow faster better i have always told my father my father and my boss were the same people so i have always told him i don't want to wait for 70 years to gain business experience if you can possibly share your business experience with me i will be able to utilize that and grow at a much faster pace that's what i mean by a smart worker use the experience that these people have the older generation and that's how you can convert that over confidence into confidence then criticism today is become as i told you that the new generation are a certain at a certain level they are highly emotional all human beings are emotional however this is something which has been noticed about the new generation inability to give criticism and take criticism criticism is good for our health our growth and it is available freely everyone knows how to criticize in fact each one of us are phd's and masters in criticism all we got to do is to take this criticism and reframe it in our minds as feedback take it as feedback guys nobody has ever grown without being criticized in fact the more successful people are criticized more look and observe the kind of criticism that extremely successful people face the beauty of their success is that they know how to handle this criticism learn to give criticism effectively and take criticism effectively giving criticism is a matter of communicating properly effectively right so work on this ability or inability of yours if i may use the word inability give and take criticism okay so the third point is communicate with impact what do i mean by communicate with impact the newer generation heavily depends on uh, technology texting as a means of their communication and in the real world that doesn't work it is easier for you to sit down create real relationships and make your communication count new generation needs to improve their communication skills 
they need to know i remember uh, one of the millennials that i had trained he went back highly motivated from the training and as you know as as we have seen that these people don't mind challenging the status quo however this particular person challenged his boss in front of people now is this good communication skills while i am saying that there is a place in which and there is a decorum in which you have to do this this is what is required by the new generation i i hope i'm making this point very clear that what do you mean by make your communication count right now the other point is that because of the speed in which communication happens our initial the listening span is also short attention spans have become short and you learn to need to communicate better and the newer generation needs to have some amount of patience in learning how to listen just because you have ears doesn't mean that you listen listening is probably one of the greatest uh skills that any leader needs to learn and if you are looking for a leadership role and to make your communication impactful to make your communication count listening is a foundation of it learn to make your communication count practice empathetic listening uh we have a complete different listening uh, module for that where it, where we take you deeper into the aspect of listening okay so make your communicate communicate with impact the next point which i see about the new generation is that many of them go crazy if they make a mistake how can i make a mistake and they are really uh, i don't know what word can i use over here but they go helter skelter when they make a mistake it's okay to make a mistake to err is to human you are as human as anybody else is so don't go berserk after you make a mistake it's okay to make a mistake because a mistake is just a learning lesson in fact uh, one of the powerful statements that i heard is that in life there are no mistakes only lessons so if i take each mistake and make it a learning lesson then i grow from my mistakes you have always grown because you make mis- mistakes in your life right look at look back in your life you have grown the the bigger the mistake the stronger is the learning so there is no problem there is no fear there is no need for you of course you can't make the same mistake again and again that is called stupidity but if you learn to make mistakes and you are comfortable with making mistakes i am not saying make mistakes but you are absolutely comfortable it's okay to make a mistake it doesn't matter if i make that as a learning lesson okay so it's okay to make a mistake yeah this is one important thing that the new generation needs to understand that multitasking is a myth it's not reality you can't read and write at the same time now somebody i was talking about multitasking to somebody so they said that well i can sing when i am bathing yes you can do that but my question is can a person professionally sing when he is taking a bath no so you understand that multitasking is the myth that people live in you can do multiple tasks at the same time in the same day you are anyway going to do multiple tasks but that's different from multitasking when i'm saying do multiple tasks take the task complete it go to the next complete the second go to the third that's what i mean by complete the task now it may so happen that you may not complete the task in fact if that is the case then make a note of you completing the task next next opportunity but what what i'm i'm trying to say is that you need to complete the task at hand and then go to the next and that's very different from multitasking the reason because the more you think that multitasking i am a multitasker the probability of you making mistakes is at a very high level okay but if you complete the task at hand go to the next complete the task go to the next good 
the chances of you making errors are going to be very minimum right so remember guys multitasking is a myth be patient everything today as working at a breakneck speed if you really look at the growth in the past things there are so many changes so many and the changes are so speedy that you have to learn to be patient in the real world you will have to practice patience especially when you are thinking of developing great relationships real relationships when bonding takes effort and time job satisfaction takes effort and time so everything doesn't happen you guys today's world is a one click world so if you really look at the patience that we have we are pathetic at this world today and we definitely need to practice patience especially when you are building relationships when you want to take your job uh, to the level of satisfaction then patience is imp important i would say meditation is the best way to become patient practice meditation F and finally virtual world now everything is not technology guys my son a younger son is computer uh, science uh, computer engineer and he thinks everything is technology well technology has its use and abuse i have no issues about technology and the growth because of technology but everything is not technology i here will strongly uh, you know invite you to look at the pareto's principle 80 20 rule if 80% technology 20% non technology uh, so technology has its use and even abuse right so i am suggesting conscientious use of social media social media is important i have gained so much because i have been in social media uh, i have accounts in facebook uh, instagram and all the works so what i have experienced is that if i don't know how to conscientiously use social media if i don't know how to be conscientious about my use of social media it is going to hamper my productivity and that's what i mean by the virtual world they have to understand that the virtual world is a fragile world it's not a real world some aspect of their life they are living in the real world it doesn't matter how many facebook friends or your amount of followings are on your insta or any other platform the question comes is who is going to stand behind you when you are in need and that happens only in the real world and not in the virtual world maybe a regular detox will help okay so here are the seven ideas for the new generation be care careful about the thin line between confidence and overconfidence improve your ability to take feedback and not take it as criticism listen more and communicate with impact improve your communication skills it's okay to make mistakes understand that multitasking is a myth a lot of things in the real world you need to be patient it cannot happen at the breakneck speed at the world it which is going so learn to be patient and a regular detox from the virtual world can make a big big impact so these are the seven ideas for the newer generation